Hello, my name is Dr. Josh Klopper, and I'm the Medical Director of Endocrinology at Verisite. In this video, I will walk you through the data that is included on the Affirma GRID Research Use Only Report. GRID stands for Genomic Resource for Intelligent Discovery. The Affirma GRID Report includes additional data points on a patient's thyroid nodule and is provided for research use only to any interested physicians. You have the option to order the Affirma GRID Report on the Affirma Test Requisition Form. If a Firma GSC is suspicious for malignancy from Bethesda 3 or 4 nodules, or if the sample is cytologically Bethesda 5 or Bethesda 6, the Affirma GRID report will be provided as a separate document in addition to the primary Affirma GSC report. Please note that the Affirma GRID report will only be provided if it is ordered on the requisition form. When the Affirma GRID report is ordered and indicated, since it is part of the whole transcriptome RNA-seq that Verisite is already running, ordering a firma grid doesn't add to turnaround time. As I've stated previously, this is a research use only tool and the report indicates as such. On the first page of the grid report, the patient demographic information is included along with a summary of a firma GSC and TERT results. The GSC and TERT summary section is from the Affirma GSC clinical report and is included here to provide context for research questions inspired by the grid report. Please note it is not considered research use only. We recommend you refer to the GSC clinical report for all the details related to Affirma GSC and TERT results. Further down, the first page of the GRID report are the two tumor behavior signatures that have been developed by Verisite. Both are composite signatures that were built from 400 different literature-derived signatures analyzed by over 200 machine learning models. One signature is designed to rule out the risk of clinically significant tumor vascular and extrathyroidal invasion, and the other signature is designed to rule out the risk of clinically significant regional lymph node metastases. Both signatures currently provide a binary data point. Low risk, which is denoted in a blue color as shown here for the invasion signature, indicates a 5% or lower chance of having clinically significant vascular or extrathyroidal invasion. Baseline or higher risk is denoted in a gray color as shown here for the lymph node metastasis signature. Please note that the baseline prevalence of invasion or lymph node metastases in the training court for these two signatures was approximately 10%. On the second page of the GRID report, you will find the NIS expression, Perthal cell index, and PLEC HS1 promoter variance results. The expression of the NIS gene is reported here relative to the mean expression level of the NIS gene in GSC benign nodules. Therefore, the zero on the scale is the mean level of NIS expression in GSC benign nodules, and the value provided here is expression of the NIS gene for the molecularly or cytologically suspicious nodule. The Herthel cell index, also called the Oncocytic cell index result, is reported here. This index is part of the Affirma GSC and has helped improve the specificity and PPV of Affirma GSC compared to its predecessor, Affirma GEC, for Oncocytic nodules. The score is provided here to show how molecularly herthal the nodule is. This data was published in the Howe et al. study in 2019. Lastly, the PLEC HS1 results are provided here. Because these two variants are in the promoter region of PLEC HS1, they cannot be assessed by RNA analysis. Therefore, they are a part of the DNA assay Verisite uses to assess TERT promoter mutations. If TERT is not ordered on the test requisition form, the PLEC HS1 result will not be reported here. On the last page of the GRID report, you will find the references and test methodology for the data points included on the GRID report. At Verisite, every FNA sample we receive for a Firma GSC testing undergoes whole transcriptome-derived analysis. This means that over 21,000 genes are examined across the transcriptome, generating a tremendous amount of data. This allows us to make a research resource like a Firma GRID available upon request, and we hope this helps drive genomic discoveries and identify new molecular markers that may ultimately impact patient care. I hope you found this useful. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions.